Hey friends, hi there, good morning. Welcome to the Monday minute or two in which I'm really warm. I've got these lights on. Okay, I'm gonna just speak and then I might go, might go open a door. Hi, welcome to the Monday minute or two in which I try to help make a case of the Mondays a good thing and I'm trying something new today. Um, if you guys just hold on a minute, I gotta go open a door. My goodness, I'm here, don't leave me, I'm still here. It's just really hot in, <clears throat> hi, I'm still here. It's just really hot in here. I told my kid, don't text me, I'm live. Great, Scott. Okay, look, we're gonna be, we're hanging out today and crafting together. If you did not know about this event or if you um, <clears throat> just didn't have time to get your stuff, hi Lisa, good morning. Good morning, I'm glad you're here. If you are here, please say hello and um, add where you're from because one, I have a terrible memory. I, I'll probably remember some of you where you're from, but also um, then people just will just know. Kathy, hi, I actually owe you a message back because we're getting it something on the calendar. Hi, Mary, good morning to you. And Amy, hi, Amy, good morning. <clears throat> oh, so Amy says her morning was full of grumpy kids arguing. Well, I'm gonna promise you one thing. I don't like to make promises because I don't like to not honor them, but I'm gonna promise you we're not gonna argue in here. We're not gonna have any arguments. <laughs> My friend Mary says I'm from Peebo. I do remember that. I do remember. I was actually sick a week or two ago and she brought me some little tea to help with that. Okay. Oh, hi, Nikki. Good morning. Uh, Nikki actually does my hair and she did comment on my hair. She says I'm having a good hair day. It's because of Nikki. And I, and I did wash it. That helps <laughs> a great deal. Good morning to Stacy. Oh, oh, and Amy says, <clears throat> did I already say good morning, Stacy? No, I don't think so. I think we're just popping on here. So good morning to Stacy and, um, and, uh, oh, Wendy. Oh, let's see. So Amy says she's from Murrieta, which I've been to Murrieta before. Um, and Wendy is here from Pennsylvania. Look, California, Pennsylvania. I live near a highway, so truck driver was, was using those loud brakes or something. Okay, so good morning to everyone. I thought it would be fun to do something a little bit different. I'm still gonna tell everybody what we have to look forward to this coming week, but I'm uh, we're also gonna do a craft together. If you don't, um, <clears throat> if you don't have this stuff, it's okay. Um, I will link to the blog post. I did a blog post that actually has a video. Um, but after we're done in the comments, oh, Shane, oh, I, I gotta say this. Uh, Shane says my overalls are on fleek. I got my, I got my scissors in here. I'm ready to craft. Love me some overalls. They're all tore up and such. So, you know, they are on fleek and whatnot. Um, Alicia, oh, uh, following up on last week's live, Alicia is asking, did you get a second owl? Um, not yet, but I have to say, and I will do a, a garden update too. Um, uh, um, I did not get a second owl, but I think the one owl is working. I do want to get another one because I need one for my front and my backyard because I do think they work. So we'll say that. And I think Shane just gave me the compliment of a lifetime. When she says jo so Joanna, I believe she is talking about Joanna Gaines, my personal. Um, you're not supposed to idolize people, but if I did, she might be one that I idolize. Actually, my husband and I have a couple's crush on them. And we're pretty sure they would really love us. Anywho. Uh, at the very least, they could they could do a great job fixing our house up. <laughs> Good morning to Lisa. 
Um, <clears throat> Amy says no more bunnies. Still got the bunnies. Still got the bunnies, but they are staying away from the areas where my, um, and I have a little fencing around some of that. So, all right. So, um, I'll put a link, as I said before, I will put a link in the comments to the blog post that I did about this craft, but I thought we could do this craft together because in the blog post in the video that I have there, um, there's a lot of editing and you don't get to see, we all know, let's just say it right now, crafts are fun and even if they turn out in the end, there's a struggle in the moments of crafting. If you're using scissors, if you're using sharp objects, hot glue, um, just, you know, so let's, let's struggle through this together. Um, let's see, Kathy wants me to come visit her. I wouldn't hate that. Amy, um, thinks I don't look like Elmer Fudd. So thank you for that as well. Um, so anyways, and Kathy, so Amy would like to come Kath, to your place, Kathy, too. So maybe we could just do like a retreat at Kathy's, like a, a Monday Minute Live people's retreat. Kathy, did you sign up for that? <laughs> That's the thing with a live. You just don't know where it's going to go. All right. So today when I, when I planned to do this, oh, Elmer Fudd the bunnies. <laughs> gotcha. I thought Elmer Fudd and, um, the overalls, but, um, Elmer Fudd and the poor Elmer. He's, 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 he's so cute though, right? All right, um, let's see. It is Earth Day, by the way. When I planned to do this today, I didn't realize that today would also be Earth Day, so it's kind of fitting. Um, it's also um, going to be May 1st, on May 1st, which is in a week or something like that. And so that's May Day and something that some people do. I've done it like once. I wish... It was a regular part of my life and who knows, maybe, maybe it will happen. But that's a time that people often give like a May Day gift to neighbors or to friends or whatever. So what I am doing here is in the, the spirit of May Day and doing sweet things for um, doing sweet things for people. Or, or you just do it in your house to this craft <laughs> in your house and put it in your house, it's super cute. Okay, let's do this. If you didn't get to see the blog post, sorry, you're gonna see the magic happen. It's gonna take us a little while. I'm going to, um, we're just gonna do this. Okay, so I'm going to try and respond to comments, but I also might get in the zone of the craft. So you'll, you'll have to forgive me. So the things that you will need for this project are, let's just start with the basics. Some sort of pot. I've used these pots. Oh, I thought I had my cute yellow one. It's not here. These pots, I picked up this pot for like a dollar 46 or something over there at that one store that <clears throat> that is big. And, but it's a tiny guy. I haven't ever used something this small. This is my standard size. This is a four inch terracotta pot. This is a, this says it's four inch too. So anyways, I don't know who's doing the measuring. <laughs> oh, oh, Alicia says, oh, here's pro tip. If you're looking for daisies and tulips, um, Alicia says we're selling a ton of them at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is the hookup because that, they, they priced that stuff affordably, so go there. Now I see that my daughter's watching. Hi, Olivia. Hi. I really am doing a live. I'll get back to you when I'm done. All right, <clears throat> so, and they're like this little pot, I, and I got it like Ikea, so you can do, you could even do, I put my dirt, because you're gonna need dirt. You could even do it in a cute little tin bucket that I know you can get pretty cheap. At places <clears throat> I have no idea where this came from but you can get these this is pretty inexpensive it can be if you're good at shopping and expensive so pots dirt you can grab it from your yard 
I prefer not that because most of my yard is weeds. <laughs> well, um, so you need some dirt, you need a pot, you need just a flower with a, with a somewhat stem. I've had these flowers a little long. Here's my dilemma. I had to buy these on Friday because I wasn't around on Saturday and I wasn't around on Sunday and I wanted to be ready for you today and I wasn't going to go get flowers this morning. Before I came, I'm sorry, I love you, but I just needed to be home and set up my space. Okay, then you will need, this is the one thing that makes, I didn't fill it with water. Shoot. Oh, I have sparkling water. We'll do that. Um, you, this isn't very clean. They don't have to be clean. But this is one of those little tubey things where you put water in it. Look, I'm going to give my, I'm spilling. <gasps> It's sparkling water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good morning, Michelle. Hey, Olivia. Amy says hi to you. Say hi back, daughter, unless she's not on anymore. So fill it. You fill this guy with water. So you need this. And I'll tell you why in a bit. And then you also need <clears throat> um, wheat grass. But when I went, so I went to, the, we have this store called Central Market, and they have a bunch of, like, they're like a Whole Foods sort of place. So when they sell this wheatgrass, they're selling it for people to juice. I bought it to craft. <laughs> so, um, so wherever you think sells wheatgrass, that's where you go and get your wheatgrass. Or I, when I was getting the wheatgrass, I saw this. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And they, these are pea shoots. And I think these would be super cute. I've never worked with pea shoots, so we'll just see. We're doing this live. I have not tested. Okay, so you've got the flowers. You've got the wheat grass. You've got the soil. You have a pot. Oh, you need scissors. And you're going to need some kind of floral wire. Usually, I like... I like using the straight floral wire, but I've used most of those to make these. Do you wanna see these? These are wood palms, wool, wool palms on floral wire that I like. I'm, I didn't make the wool balls. Anyways, little shout out to shop.jennyonthespot.com Maybe, I think I took them off my site, but I'm gonna put them back up, but I'm selling these all made. So I used, I used most of my um, floral wire because I also used this fabric wrapped stem because I think they're cute. Anyways, these are really cute. All right, <clears throat> so, so, I'm still here. I'm breaking the third wall. The fourth wall? Fifth wall. I don't know. Anywho, okay. Good morning, Donisha. Good morning, good morning. It's good to see you. All right, so this is what you do. You, I got the little measure guy. I don't really do much with my nails, so getting dirt under my nails isn't a big deal. Um, I'm not that prideful. I'm prideful in other ways. Um, but so put a little bit of dirt a little bit of dirt in your pot, okay? And then what you want to do, here's, here's where it can be potentially a little physically dangerous. Hold on. Okay. You, you, you got to get your, take your little guy, your, your little wheatgrass. Take that wheatgrass out. Okay. Okay. See that? What? See how this is? square. Do you see how it's square? Okay. This isn't square. So the thing is you, you can still go with squareness. Um, but do you see how it's bigger? What I recommend is I just go and I cut, see it's scissors. Take your scissors and you cut, cut the corners. Mm. This is where cutting corners is okay. Get it? Okay. Hi, Elizabeth. It's good to see you. How are you feeling? 
I. So um, everybody just send healing vibes to Elizabeth. We'll just say that. Thinking of you today, and I'm glad that you got to tune in. So cut these corners, just cut them, you know, eyeball it. This isn't like science, this is like crafting, okay? This isn't sewing crafting, this is just, okay, cut. So you just cut through it. And then what you'll do is see, oh, is it gonna fit? Nope, I didn't cut enough. So cut some more, cut more of those corners. A little bit more, like that one corner that you didn't cut as much of. Um, cut the corners, just kind of, you know, just start trimming it. And, and then with that extra, um, with, oh, Elizabeth says, I'm okay, recovery is slow, but having fun watching. Yay, I'm glad I can provide, help provide a little bit of fun for you. So thinking of you for sure. Um, oh, with the extra grass that, that you don't use, you can juice it. Okay, get, give yourself a little, a little, um, a little, little, what am I saying? I can't craft and, and actually carry on. Um, a little juice, a little, a shot of wheatgrass juice with your extra, you know, and I'm sure that there's maybe a more efficient, like, you could probably take all the extra pieces too and and you make two out of it depending on the size pot but i've just been working at it over here the thing is if you squeeze it too hard then it's a little uh, looks a little a little funky so just keep cutting like door door dory dory keep swimming keep swimming so i'm just cutting trimming trimming it's just good to start cutting at the edges. And I haven't done this craft in over a year, so I've forgotten. And as I'm doing it, I'm like, oh yeah, I should have done that. That's right, I forgot. So the great thing about doing these things live is you get all these extra tips. All right, so finally got it. And you just kinda stick it in there. And I have enough dirt in there, so there's just a little dirt. Some people, maybe a pro gardener, would put rock down there for drainage. I'm kind of just spreading out. That's, look, you guys, how cute is that? I mean, just this, just this on his own. And I want to show you in the spirit of keeping it real, let's look, let's look. Do you see the mess? Do you see this mess that's happening right now? This is what happens. When you see a produced video of crafting, good morning, Liz. Hi. When you see a produced video, you don't necessarily see. Do you guys see all that? Do you see what is happening? Do you see that? All right. So that's what's going down. That's the down low on that. Okay. So then what you need to do, I don't have my wire cutters. Oh. If you want to know something about my house, I'm going to have to close my door. My house makes a sound when it's windy and there's any door or window or anything open in my house. So if it's windy, I just found my, my wire cutters. Yay. Um, okay, this is my dining room, but it is my also my crafting room. Okay, um, okay. So with this stuff, you can probably just use your scissors. Yeah, this is nice. And, then, so here's what you do. I like my other stuff because it's a little, um, I, okay. I was telling you about the um, floral wire. This is wrapped in um, fabric. There's kind, there's a kind that's like this, that's a little, do you see? That's a little thick. I like the stuff that's a little bit thicker than this, but here's why you need the floral wire, okay? What you need to do is you need to take this and you need to just stab, stab the little neck of your little daisy, okay? And then start wrapping, wrapping that around. You wanna know why I just did a horrible thing to the neck of my daisy? I did that because, you know, daisy necks after a while, they go like that, they're like our necks at the end of a really long day. So you get 
much more life out of your daisy. If you're gonna do a craft, you want, you want that, you wanna get as much time out of it as possible. So it's just all the way down. And then what you wanna do is, see? And it just, it gives it a little depth and character. Okay, so then kind of measure like, oh, maybe I want to trim. See how long that is? I think that's a good, that would be a good height to stick out. So I don't want to trim mine anymore. I trimmed it the other day. If I get dirt in my hair, you'll know why. Um, <clears throat> okay, am I missing any? Okay, I'm not. And then what you want to do is you want to stick your little, your little guy in there, okay? Because, because, I mean, you can water the pot, but this, this, what you can do if, sometimes these last a really long time, so you can just pull it out of your pot and add more water in there, and then it gets, it gets the water, it gets a lot of water, okay? That's why. Then, okay, so now you're like, wait a second, Jenny, how, how's that get in there? How, how, do you, how do you do that, Jenny? Well, I'm going to show you, okay? Do I need to take a break from telling you about the craft and tell you what we have to look forward to? Let's, let's, let's take a quick break. Um, I wrote down some stuff. I'll tell you a couple days to look forward to. First day, today is Earth Day. It is also National Jelly Bean Day, probably because the jelly bean conglomerates want you to go buy all the jelly beans because they didn't all get bought yesterday. So I, I don't keep candy around so much and I did get jelly beans because, oh, because I was trying to make jelly bean necklaces and it was a flop. So I just put the rest of the jelly beans out and they were gone in a day. And so life lesson, don't leave jelly beans out at my house. I didn't even hardly eat them. Okay. <clears throat> Tomorrow is Talk Like Shakespeare Day. Um, so, I can't even think of Shakespeare right now. Okay, because it's been a long time, though I was Juliet in a small school play. I went to a very small school. And um, basically it was, it, was, it was that we were broken up into groups. Everybody had to do something and I was Juliet. And my, my Romeo, we were supposed to kiss. He wasn't. He wasn't my kind of material. Anywho, so talk like Shakespeare Day. If you're, if you're into something like that, it's also National Picnic Day. So do you hear that? Do you guys hear my house? Do you hear it? It's... <clears throat> Okay, uh, so National Picnic Day is tomorrow. Speaking of picnics, has nothing to do with picnics. Wednesday is National Pigs in a Blanket Day, which honestly, I haven't made that in a really long time, and I haven't developed my recipe plan for the week. So maybe, um, maybe my husband isn't going to be on the next couple of days either. So maybe I don't have to do anything for dinner. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, still sick ish all right so the next step once you get this done is this is what I do <clears throat> if you guys have a better plan you just step right up and tell me I just make a big hole so I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this down and because all the comments are right there I can't actually see what I'm doing but I'm gonna pretend let's see there we go you just, this is just, you gotta work at it. You, you could probably even take it out beforehand, but you just wanna get in there and make a, make a little hole. Like, you know, use your scissors a little bit. You wanna make, here, I'm just gonna pull that out. You just wanna get that in a little, yeah, look, look, oh, look what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, what is that? So you wanna make that little hole <clears throat> and you can see all the dirt down there. That's to help, really that dirt is to help keep your wheat grass. And then, and yes, could I have used gloves? Sure, <laughs> sure, sure I could have. All right, um, 
Okay, now for the great reveal. Whoa. Would you look at that? Can you imagine if somebody walked up to your house and put that on your porch? Right, oh, Susan, she's watching from Rhode Island today. Wow, that's far away. It's like 10, it's one o'clock over there. That's awesome. All right, so good afternoon. I'm glad you got to be here, Susan. Okay, so isn't that cute? Tell me, is it cute? You don't have to tell me, I know it's cute. All right, so I, since I haven't tried with, what are these called again? These are called pea shoots. I just happened upon them. Totally, oh, look at that. You can, so let's just see. I have a much smaller pot. I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use my scissors. I think for this one, I'm going to cut in half. I, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I cut this one in half and then I'm gonna take just a corner off, a little piece of it off. And I'm gonna put, I'm going to put some dirt in here. Dirt will help keep your greens, you know, living longer, I suppose. And with the wheatgrass, from what I understand, you can cut it. So, you know, like you're cutting grass and it'll keep, and it grows, but I don't know that for a fact. Um, so if I'm wrong, just, you know, whatever. I'm open to being wrong. I don't have to be right all the time. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm just building up the base here because this base is not as substantial as the wheatgrass. So um, what I've done here, look, that's cute. Isn't that cute? Okay, um, and then maybe I'll try this, this one with the tulip. Um, you just um, gotta fill up. Ugh. Don't forget you need your little your little guy and fill it with water, not sparkling water. I was unprepared. Um, I could go get regular water, but then I'd have to step away from you. Good morning, Maria, I'm glad you're here. Karen, you're here, good morning. Um, this, Karen says this is a happy project, and yes, it is a very happy project. I actually, so I haven't done this with tulips before. I just thought, why not? I always do Gerber daisies because um, I love them, but I was like, you know what? Let's try it with the tulip. Let's just give it a shot. You can see that the body is already weeping a little bit. It's, it's, it's not an, a new flower. I have had this one actually. I've had my tulip since Thursday, so it's holding up rather well. But let's just try it. Um, I'm going to trim you, you make sure you get your little, your little, um, wire, floral wire, and then you take, you take that little flower and just, just put it in there. Put it, oh, <laughs> just put, put it in the water. Okay. Maybe this is a little too old of a flower, but I think it's still going to be pretty cute. Let's just, let's go with it guys. The power of life. So then as we did before, you just got to make a little hole in, be just so careful. Don't stab yourself. You know, it's okay. You don't have to work fast. You're not in traffic. You just go at the speed of your, oh, you guys, <laughs> I just broke the stem again. Okay. So maybe tulips that <laughs> maybe tulips that are days and days old may maybe let's just stick with gerber daisies and if you want to try tulips then you go girl or guy i am going to grab <laughs> look at isn't that a cute happy one Woo! yay fun we're having fun okay um, so do that. And then this, I'm going to trim this up a little bit because my pot is a little bit smaller. Um, and then I'm going to stick <clears throat> the daisy. I got to make the hole bigger. 
I make it bigger. There we go. This is this is how crafting is. This is real. This is this is the hustle, the struggle, you know, all that, how people say this is where it's real. And I've got dirt under my fingers. All right. So then here, it's not quite as cute as the wheatgrass, but it's still pretty cute. The wheatgrass is just thicker, so it hides all the stuff in the middle. But this is kind of cute too. What do you guys think? <laughs> Thank you, Maria. She's encouraging me in my in my um, failed attempts or my my effort. So, anyways, so there's this, and there's that. You guys. So, have you ever done anything like this before? I don't know if you know this about me, but many years ago, when I had my kids were in preschool. Um, I was the craft person at Mops, Mothers of Preschoolers, for a year or two, or I don't even know. I did, I did many years in Mops. I did many different things. But anyways, this was one of the crafts I taught. And this is one of those crafts that's, that, that, is, that has not left my life. But I also wanted to add, oh, um, Maria uh, mentioned ribbon, and you can add, if you want, you can add ribbon around the pot, or you can add a little, maybe you can, I don't know, I haven't tried this, let's see. Can you add a little bow to, to you could add a little bow to the flower. So, um, so there you go, Jamie says it's perfect for May Day. It is, it's so perfect for May Day, and if you do add, ribbon and all that, that's even more fun, right? Okay, now I'm gonna show you, in case you can't see it, I want you guys to see the aftermath of the craft. Can you see? Are you seeing? Do you see the blanket that's on my floor over there? You wanna know something else? This room is all hard, <laughs> Maria says yes. Um, <clears throat> this room is all hardwood and wood furniture, like wood table, this wood thing, there's a piano, chairs. I threw blankets all over the floor because it's really echoey in here. So if I were to pan around, you'd see my light kit. You'd see blankets, pillows, and my robe. <laughs> you guys wanna see it? I'm not gonna show you. I do have some pride. It's a little embarrassing. Maybe I'll take a picture and share it. Okay, so. Before we wrap up, before we wrap up, I want to tell you that Thursday and Friday, we have something to look forward to. Thursday is International Guide Dog Day. So there's that. I think guide dogs are awesome, pretty special. I don't know what that means because really you're not supposed to interact with guide dogs, but appreciate them just, you know, inside your heart and such. Um, Thursday, this is actually a lot of fun, is National Zucchini Bread Day, which I think is interesting because at least where we live, zucchini doesn't really hit its, doesn't at all, hit its peak growing season until like mid, late summer. So I'd have to go buy zucchini. I think I'd rather celebrate National Zucchini Bread Day using zucchini from my own garden. <clears throat> That's my opinion on that. Uh, Kelly says, love guide dogs, so important. They are very important. Um, actually, my neighbor right over there, she um, she's about my mom's. You know, when we first moved into this house, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay, I might have to close my door. When we first, when we first moved into this house and that sound happened, it was a little bit scary because you can't, and then we had a house sitter once and she like texted me, she's like, oh my gosh, your house is wrong. It's not a ghost. It's just a, something going on. Oh, oh, Maria says it's Monday Landscaper Day in California. So there we go. 
Look at my hands, speaking of landscaping. All right. <clears throat> and Oh, I was going to say my neighbor right over there, she actually um, raises doggies, like the first their first year of life. Um, she raises, trains puppies that are going to be um, aid animals, guide dogs or support animals. So it's pretty cool. She's a sweet lady and sweet little doggies. Um, oh, every Monday. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Friday, I'm, look, I tried to push up on my computer screen. Friday is, oh, Friday is Arbor Day. And it is also National Pretzel Day. So there are some things to look forward to in food and in life. And um, if I look at the calendar, May 1st, you have one week and two days before May 1st. I've got dirt all over my floor. Um, one week and two days before May 1st, if you want to celebrate May Day with neighbors or friends or family or whatever. Um, this is also a sweet idea for Mother's Day. Maybe even, um, you know, with some help with little ones with the scissors and that kind of stuff. But um, if, I know I'm talking to all the ladies, um, but... Um, if you could show this to your your significant other to show to work on this with your kids wouldn't it be sweet if your kids made that like if they paint a little pot paint it and make it all sweet for you and then or your your mom or for grandma or aunties or whatever um <clears throat> but if uh, this tutorial gets in the hands of the right people you're gonna have some some happy happy Daisy Pot recipients, right? Um, so, so Rebecca, where did you get the vials? So I have a lot of them, and I think I link in my post to like an Amazon link or something. If not, I will. <sighs> Hold on, I'm gonna close my door. Don't leave me. Don't leave. I'm coming back. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm here. Okay. So, um, over the years. Uh, so I have kids who have done theater, theater, and they always get flowers. And a lot of times the flowers have these. And so every time I get them, I save them and I reuse them. So that's where I got mine. I think at one point I ran out and um, I either bought or like my central market here. I, I think they actually like let me have a few. I just needed like four or five and they're like, just take them. So um, I imagine... I have not researched, but I bet, I don't know for sure. So um, don't mark my words, maybe call, but like maybe Michael's would, they tend to have, I, that's where I got my floral wire, stuff like that. But um, I'm pretty sure you can get some on Amazon or just maybe talk to your local florist. They might sell them for five cents a piece or something. Um, so that, that, when I needed them and didn't, now I have a million because once I started doing these crafts, I never let any of these go. And actually I'm like, Hey, are you going to keep yours? Can I have yours? So that's, that's, and that's where I got mine. As far as where you can get yours, there are some ideas and I'll see if I can find something and link to it in the comments here. Okay. So I believe that is it. Um, thank you guys for joining in and uh, Rebecca, thank you for that question about the vials. Um, and I hope you all have a great day, peace and sparkles. And, um, let's remember to, when we go out today to see if, um, we can find little opportunities to just show somebody some niceness, you know, whether it's, you know, just letting someone in front of you, or if somebody doesn't pull forward at school drop off or pick up, maybe just just be like, okay, okay, we all have our days. All right, and finally, um, it's not up, I, can't, I think I might have taken them off the site because I wanted to rework how I was going to do this because I think I was selling individual stems, but I'm going to be listing these in my shop.jennyonthespot.com, these little um, palm 
flowers. I believe I'm selling them in um, groups of six or 12. I can't, I can't remember. Anyway, so if you guys were interested in these, make really cute gifts too, maybe for Mother's Day. Um, I think, yeah, or just spring to have around, laying around. I actually like to use them on gift when I do gifts. Recently, I've done a couple of gifts and I tie just, <clears throat> you just take a couple and tie them onto a little present. So they make for a cute little, you know, whatever. Okay, you guys. Oh, Maria. Okay, Maria says she's going to send me pics of her earlier attempts. I'm assuming of this. I would love, I would love to see those. I'm hoping those attempts were okay. Um, and Kelly, have a great day. Kathy, everybody who's been here, thank you so much for sharing your words and your time. And it's been lovely to hang out. And um, I will see you next Monday, maybe next Maybe this coming Thursday, I don't know if it'll be live or recorded. So, but I will have a video for you on Thursday all about garden stuff. All right, peace and sparkles. Bye-bye.